the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And who are using everyday people as shields. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you see why they need to be destroyed. If, yeah. if, if, if other lives yeah. do not matter to you to the point to where you're just going to use them as human shields. Right. Then and pre prevent them from seeking safety. Yeah. <laughs> and leaving the region, yeah. Then, then, yeah, yeah. There, there, there's something wicked about you, and 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 your existence is is fruitile. Right. But, but, yeah. but their their and their reason for doing this is just because Israel needs to be wiped off the face of the earth. And which, which, which is, a, which is like, a, it's like, how do you expect that's going to happen? You know what I mean? Uh, and, 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 and so, and, and why? Why? Why do they need to be wiped off the face of the earth? Yeah. What, 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 what is it that in the past that you can't find forgiveness over eons yeah. of yeah. time? Yeah. You know, you can't find some kind of truth, but 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 you can't look at just them only because in, in Africa, mm -hmm. when they had one tribe over another and then once they became free then the tribe who was under started destroying the tribe who was given faith yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah and, and that's still going on well the, the, the other thing too i i guess I'm, i agree with you on all of it uh and the fact that they're, they're using their people as human shields and propagandas and props and everything else and then the children of israel i mean the the uh Ashkenazis that 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 you know rule the place. Um, if you continue to oppress people, but keep your keep your foot on their neck, uh, using them doing collective pop, you know punishment, you're not going to get anywhere as well. You know you're not going to get any peace mm -hmm. by forcefully doing bad things to people. Uh, you say you can't have a democracy for your own people, and then oppress the people in your in your your your, your country. Does that make sense? Yeah. They need they need to find a way. How can we coerce? How can we live together? Yeah. You know. Uh, how, how 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 do you bring them to the table where you can come to some kind of mutual agreement? Yeah, you know, and you got to be willing to compromise some things if you want if you want to exist in the same place. You do, but you do. then you can't. You you also have to look at Israel as being uh, at fault their their leadership because it wasn't about protecting their people here lately. Mm. It was more about power and money. Yeah, because their leadership is no. No different than ours. They're they're just corrupt. Yeah. They're yeah, corrupt. I mean, yeah. Now, now these are supposed to be, you know, when I used to think about Israel before I started, you know, learning more about them, and before the information age has come to full effect, mm -hmm. and you see, you know, uh, uh, information right at hand, and uh, and you're witnessing. The, the corruption that's going on and it's like wow i thought these people were you know godly folks yeah yeah and so there should be no corruption right because you know that, that, that was just my thought right prior right, no, to no. realizing that they're just humans and they're subject to the god of this world no different than anybody else yeah so uh seeing that and knowing that they've actually gotten into this uh, money, power, uh, me, 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 and, and glory type of, of lifestyle, they're doing exactly what's going on here in the States. They're not fortifying their borders 
to where they can protect themselves. They could have went in and destroyed every tunnel mm. over time. They could have made sure that they were listening to uh, to certain signs and, and, and things that was going to predict what's going on. Mm. You know, no different than 9-11, they've heard Mm -hmm. grumblings about such an attack. Mm -hmm. They knew. They knew it was inve inevitable, but they took their eyes off of protecting the, the, the state as a whole, and it became selfish. And in doing so, the people are suffering. Um, you know, not only know, them, but these other people. Right. Some people said is that was it used to justify an action? Did, did they let it go? Did they let it happen uh, to justify? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's no reaction. different than nine eleven. Right. You know, it was an excuse to go to the Middle East mm. and and try and uh, uh, force control mm. to get the resources because the United States was left out of the mm. of the portioning. Mm -hmm. of that continent. Mm -hmm. they, they did not exist when the portioning of Africa came. Mm -hmm. So they had to find some way mm -hmm. to get their foot in there so that they can get these resources that all these other countries, dominating countries, have claimed mm -hmm. from, you know, the beginning of, of, of colonization. And, and what I want to do too at the same time is, um, reflective back toward the gospel again and and the fact is that the if you it's 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 a, it's a principle right be not to see god is not marked but whatsoever man so what so he shall read he shall read he, and, and and what we're seeing uh is the bad things to include like the the peace you come over peace in the middle east mm -hmm. it, it's it's if you try to use force, if you try to use catalysts to to do attack, like you're talking about, right? No, we let it happen. Uh, you you only you only trying to find justification for bad behavior. Anyway, right? That's what you're doing. As if that's going to bring in success. But what does it do? It brings in what? Death. It brings in pain things and suffering and it's and you're not going to get what you want i think i think i think the 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 maybe the hidden agenda was let's get let's get them off the continent right or yeah. let, out of our country let i mean they said that we, we need to completely destroy them mm. yeah and and all you're doing is create more but what you do what, what's what's the outcome of what's going to be the outcome well, the outcome is you're not going to kill everyone. You're not going to kill everyone. And then th there's there's a generational hatred. Yes, that is you, being formed still. Still, right. And, and it's it's going to happen again. Right, and, and like I say, just what's the difference between their behavior uh, and Russia going after Ukraine? After Ukraine, yeah. right? It's 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 genocide. Is, is what you have to, you got to ask yourself what you're trying to do. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get that that that, that strip. Uh, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it by force. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Egypt closed their borders. They're like, you ain't coming over here. Yeah. They're not even letting they're the like, people we come. We don't want to have nothing to do with it because, <laughs> you know, we got peace here. <laughs> right. You know, we, we settle our differences. They're, <laughs> they're not trying to take <laughs> us off the map. Why do we want to get involved in that and have that? For us, right? What well, was it? Nineteen sixty-seven? Was that the Yom War? What we call it? Where they all of them was attacking? Just at least Egypt was right. Egypt was attacking, and, and, and uh, the Jordan, I think, was attacking. Uh, they were, they were like all over. And there was a, for all different angles coming after the uh, <laughs> Israel. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that the way they took it, because they came in uh, from Europe and. They, they they were forceful in taking the land that they took. Yeah. Right? So in other words, anger fighting 
beget anger and fighting. It, it just, it creates a revolving door. Yeah. And, and, go, ahead. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm saying this is, so now let's look toward the, what Christ is trying to teach us. Uh, where a great multitude will follow yeah. because of the good news. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> Christ was not teaching bad news. He wasn't teaching to use force to, to change the hearts of man. Yeah. It, it was it was said <laughs> that way said Marvin, you must be what born again. It don't really, it don't really like pushing it back toward the, the gospel, because we see the obvious issues and fault with what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on in Africa, what goes on in, in the, the United States. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen other recent articles. Uh, you had a man sit there and went to, I think it was Alabama, uh, tow truck. Did you, did you hear about the tow truck scenario? No. Oh, Lord. It, we had a... Uh, a tow truck was trying when two o'clock in the morning come and get let's say your car right and and i think you got you got a garage don't you yeah okay and but you got cars outside the garage yeah. and and so it, it, the tow truck came two o'clock in the morning to tow your truck your car when your vehicles right and and the guy with the right to have them based on Conservative states have a right to have a firearm. He made to say, "Man, you need to get out of here. You, that you can't take my car." Mm -hmm. You know, and, and he ran. He took off. He left the the tow truck. And when he got contact the local police, <laughs> and what they decided to do, little brother, instead of going to knock on the door and and and, and have the guy step outside and let's talk about. I understand you waving a gun around and uh -huh. man's trying to do his job. They decided to hide on the side of his house, across the street, down the street, and then let the tow truck man go back to the house to proceed on trying to take the vehicle again. Uh -huh. With the expectation, right, that the man's going to come yeah, out of his house. Excuse. Yeah. yeah, and then they ambushed him. Yeah. They, they they said, put down the gun. And he had, a, in this case, a camera. Somebody, uh, most neighborhoods now got cameras. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it looked like, it appears like he had put his hands up and it looked like he had a flashlight opposed to a gun. But the command was, put down the gun. Two seconds later, firing 14 shots at the man and killed him. And we find out, and then they lied about it when they, they first said that he had a gun in his hand, and then now they, 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 they said they had to uh, retract that. But the uh, tow truck went to the wrong house in the first place. And that that is super crazy. Went to the wrong house. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with that tow truck man. He may, I guess he still can say, well, I didn't go to the wrong house with me, but I, I didn't do the ambush, right? All I know is I reported that this man waved his gun at me while I was trying to do my job. But he wasn't doing his job. He was not doing his job. He was at the wrong house. He was going after the wrong vehicle. Matter of fact, it's like the man's paperwork and everything else was up to date, right? Mm -hmm. So are you looking at the license plates in the car? Well, what told you to go to that house? What told you to go to get to that vehicle? That, you know, that vehicle. it had to be. You know what I'm saying is, did, 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 did you just base on what did you base your your reasoning for coming to a particular house to get a car? You know, well, and then finally went to the wrong house. The the, the the thing about it is, it's it's, it's uh, authority abuse. Mm. They have the authority to go in and grab a vehicle that has been reported uh, Repo. not stolen, but but behind in, in payments, right. you know? And so, uh, which is kind of weird because these companies, I'm pretty sure, have gotten back vehicles from folks who have less than, mm -hmm. but who were still making payments. They just wanted to- Repossess it up. 
Yeah, what well, a thing and about so too. They, these people have this authority to go in and just grab a vehicle. Uh and and, and it's not theft. Right. And uh they also uh, have to have the right to protect themselves mm -hmm. from those people who actually own those vehicles. But it should show paperwork. That, but that... they need to show the paperwork. Exactly. They don't. They just go up. I'm taking your car. I see. So, I see the. I see like the, the TV show where they got the people. You see TV shows. Yeah. Uh, a re repo, and they 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 do show they do show the paperwork. They. You know, I mean, they come out. Oh, yeah. They come out and say, "Sir, uh, this is the bank. Yeah. The bank is saying that you are not making payments. Yeah. Now that's why I'm pulling this car out. You have people fussing. You ain't gonna yeah. take my car. Yeah, and yeah. rightfully so. I mean, you 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 have to expect that. You yeah, have, you don't put you don't spend like twenty thousand dollars on a car, <laughs> and the car is thirty thousand. And you gonna watch somebody come up <laughs> <laughs> and, and and just take it away after you invested twenty thousand dollars in the car? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I would be laying on the hood of the car. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at the same time, you see the ones that say when they, they recognize, yeah, I, I, I stopped making payments. Yeah, yeah. And technically, I know. But but, right. but but most of the time, these people. They fail to communicate mm -hmm. with the bank. Yeah. And 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 figure out a, a form of proceeding forward. Right. Even though you've fallen on hard times, you know, something something's gotta give. Yeah. One way it, or another. Right. And the bank is not but, getting making money. That's just this world. This, this, that's the world system. Exactly. Exactly. The world system. And, right. And, and we always have to keep setting that, you know, pushing that button so that people understand that though we talk about the things of this world and, and current events, uh -huh. we also have to understand that this is this world, this is this world system, and that the word of God has prophesied well, everything come on, that man. is going on. I mean, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, uh, uh, volcanoes, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> believing lies over, over the truth. I mean, everything has been prophesied yes. and it is manifesting. It is. And, and the fact is that, that that goes back to why you said those people Cause I'm gonna push. We'll push back, and and, and it's, I just want to let you know those bad things that happen in our society, uh, and, and why those people came to hear Christ, right? right? Because of what you said is they was hearing the good news. They was getting the healing, right? They they were they were. So let's go back to it again. Uh, I just want to let you know when you talk about the world system, you can see it's it's it's, it's you can see why we need to preach the gospel. Yeah. <laughs> we do, right? Seriously, okay. because it, it, it'll, stir, it'll stir you up. It, yeah, it, it, it'll it, actually, it will remove you it will. It from will. the cares of this world and put you on a <laughs> path and an understanding Yes. that though you are in this world, uh -huh. you are not I, of this world. Exactly. That's what you're about. Preach the kingdom. Your, uh -huh. your, your, your resources, your protection, <laughs> yes, your, your drive, everything is is external to this physical world. Exactly. Exactly. The, the atrocities that are happening mm. are are happening because of one entity. Yes. 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 And that I, is Satan. And so and, when when you understand that and you're and you're just like these folks who were with with Yeshua mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for for three days, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cares was, of the, the cares of the world were, were not existent, man. Uh-huh. I know. I mean he, even to the 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 the, the uh 
to point the point of necess personal necessity, food yes. and water. Exactly. It, it, I like the fact, like I said, he was providing for them. He was healing. People been healed. Yes. Uh, they, they were getting the good news, and then it, the the more it spread of what he did, the more people came to 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 hear this teaching that he was giving. Right. Yes. So back to this research. So there's eating. Okay, he said they had nothing to eat. Jesus called the disciples to him and said to them. I have compassion, which is what he was sent for, compassion. Yeah. You know, uh, matter of fact, that could, you know, I was always in rabbit trail. What was the, Mel Gilson did the, the compassion story of Christ, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But, but you saw how much beautiful, what did he focus, he focused on the, uh, the death, the, yeah. the killing, the abuse, yeah. you know? Yeah. He focused on the torture. The torture. And when I say that, that he also, not just the physical torture, because there was a mental torture that he kept showing mm -hmm. with the God of this world. Ooh, yeah, the spirit of warfare, yeah. 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 So so he did, I mean, it, it was a great, it, it was a great, great movie, and it really pulled me in. And it really, even though I did not understand a word <laughs> that was being taught, I mean, said, because they used uh, subtitles. Yeah. Yeah. They spoke. Subtitles. They spoke. I didn't need to read the subtitles <laughs> to be pulled into what was going on because I knew what was going on because of the word. Yeah. Were they speaking Hebrew? What were they speaking? Were they speaking I think they, were, they were speaking Hebrew. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And, uh, but uh, it was the title, though. It was the, the issue. The title of the movie yes. was called "Compassion." Yeah, the passion. Yeah, it just showed that, the, but the compassion showed the abuse and everything else yeah. that happened, which I thought was interesting. But here, he's showing what compassion is. You yeah. see, what I'm saying that's what that that is coming back to him again. It's like I have compassion on the multitude. Because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. I mean, they probably ran out of food. It's, it's obviously they were there, and they can't, they probably brought food with them, right? And if I send them away hungry to their own houses, they will faint on the way. For some of them have come from afar. He talking about this people who've heard the good news and come a long distance to see and to experience and to be having, like you said, the issues of this world dealt with coming to him, right? Yeah. Then the disciple answered him, how can one satisfy these people with bread here in the wilderness? Wilderness. Now this is the text, isn't it? This is the, this is, he, he's, he's, he's saying in, uh, he did this for a reason to teach them. Cause y'all, you know, he, I think the previous chapter, he has sent them out uh, to cast out demons and stuff like that. Uh, you hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the, but the, the, that's what you mean about twos, cast out demons and so forth. In this, in this book, in this, this uh, mark, they did. Uh, so now he's testing, giving them a test, dealing with faith, right? Yeah. So. His disciples answered him, how can we do it and, uh, and, and satisfy these people here in the wilderness? And he, and he asked him, how many loaves do you have? And, and one of the things I want to throw at you, brother, like he said, when we go through life, we need to see what's in our hands. So like Moses, remember that? Yeah. Well, what's in your hand, Moses? Because <laughs> God said, I'm going to do something with what you got. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to do something with what you got. Uh, and, and they said seven. Which is interesting. Some of sometimes some of these are different. One was what five, right? I think so. But it says seven on this one. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to the disciples and set before them. And they set them before the multitude. So he put them in order. He also had a few small fish. Now, which is interesting too. Remember some of the other stories. It is. It was a lad. It was a lad though. But yeah, look, that had, had, had a lunch. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. It's like 
I want to let you know as I was reading, as I continue to read one chapter a day, uh, encourage other people to read with me, is that you now get to see the different perspectives that the uh, disciples, I mean, the, the witnesses of the gospel yeah. have. Uh, some leave something, and it's almost like, a, cause I thought Matthew felt more like a summary initially, but it did start getting some detail. But Mark was, it's like, every gospel was to kind of expound more, give more detail of what happened. Yeah, and no then, different than, you know, you have <clears throat> two people uh -huh. in a, watching an event occur. Yeah. Both of them will give a different perspective because both of them are not looking at the same thing at all <laughs> at the same time, you know, throughout the entire event. Yeah. Some people are attracted to certain things than others. Mm -hmm. and so you and, and you all you focus on other things than others and people stand out. Yeah. Certain people stand out to you more than they stand out to another person. So they you you remember you yeah. remember you know, certain people. And so <laughs> the, the, the fact that they have these different stories doesn't mean that, you know, the word of God is, is incorrect. No, no, it's not. It's different you know, perspective. And, and, and yeah, you got these different stories. So how can it be true? Okay, oh, yeah, well, that let me hear you tell your life and then your brother tell his life and your sister tell her life about a certain thing that happened and see if they all agree. Right. Matter of fact, some things are more. Um, you 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 bring a counsel thing that meant something to you. It had an impact to you. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, like well, your family. Remember that time? Like an example. See that? It's like me me telling your story, right? Mm -hmm. I, I was focusing on part about where you went to the camera. Your father was running the camera. <laughs> and, and oh you, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. And now, now the question I said. Was any other relative there? Yeah. In your family building, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, My mom was there. You know. And, yeah. Uh, well, the point is if they get if they, there, uh -huh. and, and was, I, I don't remember any other person in the family that was there at that time. Not a brother or sister, talking about sibling? It, it could have been, but right. I don't I I'm not sure. Right. So here my point, I guess I was trying to say was that if somebody was trying to tell your life story. They might not, they might have left that out all together. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah because that was, I was one of many <laughs> that went out and, and forgave. Right. Someone. Right. You know, but I'm just saying they told the gospel of, of, of Addison, Brother Addison. Yeah. Um, they, they, they may cover something about, well, we went to the school together. And look, look at me, because I'm remembering pieces that was important to you. That's all the way I can regurgitate yeah. was you defending your sister for somebody trying to fight your sister. Remember that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she probably would, if she had to retell your story, that probably would, would stick out to her. Is that yeah. my brother, when, I, when somebody came and challenged me, he was there. He showed up. He took care of business. You know what I mean? Each perspective would be a little different because the something was more important to them than, than you know, than. Uh, yeah, but with her, it? it was it would probably be like, yeah, he always got in the way. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> See, <laughs> from your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, apparently, when they did this. They, they left out some pieces that you'll find in the other pieces of the gospel, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was looking at is that, so he so let's say we got here. Uh, so we're there with the fish, and I'm saying that there's another part of the gospel that told where the fish came yeah. from. Uh, what he told us, what do you have? <laughs> they, it's interesting, right? Okay. Uh, and you know they had food. You know they had food. Uh, okay, so let me see. And, and so they had, and they, were filled. He told, I like the part they was filled. It, they, it won't. It won't like they had enough to. They ration the food out. Yeah. It was filled, uh, and it took up seven large baskets of leftover fragments. Uh, now those who had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. 
and then Meanie got into the boat to with the disciples, right? I, I never noticed that immediately before. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's not right. He's like, let's go, God, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and also, I tell you what, you probably didn't think about was those fragments taken up. Mm -hmm. You know, they had no refrigerator, right? You yeah. Know? So I would suspect that the people, because they came, some came from a long distance. Yeah, he gave they, it, he gave it all away. The leftovers. He took exactly. up the fragments and gave it to them. Yeah. I mean, they can't take all those fragments and put them on a boat. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Because he's like, what, 12, what? 12, uh, what, 12 basket. They ain't gonna put that in a boat. Basket. Large basket. <laughs> you yeah. said it large. They most likely that was given to those people. Yeah. To, to to go back in their journey, to go back. And then, like I said, let's go, guys, let's go. Because they probably wouldn't have left. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in us. And all the lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.